Stratfor has been investigating satellite imagery um, of a potential strike on Russian helicopters based in Syria over the past week. Now, we've had quite a bit of information out on this, but the, the story kind of continues to develop. And we want to take a deeper look at exactly what kind of damage we are seeing at the, the TS airport in Syria. In this first area, we see that significant damage has been done to four attack helicopters. These helicopters are likely Russian, although we can't tell for sure from the imagery. From recent activity in the area by Russian forces, however, we do know that Russian helicopters were operating here. In the next area that we look at, we can see that a supply depot with about two dozen trucks around it was also hit quite hard. The supply depot is likely linked to the presence of the attack helicopters. Some reports suggest that the cause of the damage was actually an accidental fire that started in the supply depot. But due to some of the other damage that we see around the facility, we believe this to be unlikely. Further away from the main areas of damage, we could also see that one particular hit damaged the wing of a Syrian MiG-25 aircraft. We also observe similar damage to several L-39 training aircraft located near the attack helicopters. It's not clear whether any of these aircraft were destroyed, but in the later imagery we can only see two aircraft rather than the three that were there before the attack. There have been several claims uh, stating that this was not actually an attack, but an accidental fire. Based on how the damage has spread across the facility, however, we at Stratfor and at our satellite imagery partners at AllSource Analysis believe it to be unlikely. We've seen severe damage in different locations separated by other areas that have not been harmed, which would be an unlikely pattern to be followed by an accidental fire or explosion. Apart from the damage that we've observed, we've also seen several statements come out of the Islamic State themselves. They've claimed that they conducted the attack on May 14th and had very specific details on what damage had been done. On top of this, we've also seen claims coming out of several other Syrian sources corroborating the fact that this was actually an attack. We'll continue to track this story at Stratfor.